Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while since we've done anything with any.run, right? The, one of the guys from Discord was like, I got like this uh, exploit for you, this malware. Do you want to check it out? I'm like, yeah, why not? Fun. Any.run, really good application to do that. And if you want to, free trial as well. So... The thing is right now I'm using the safe browsing which is not really meant for that of course. So let's do it correctly and let's effectively try to run this through one of their virtual machines, shall we? So start a new analysis and let's do a deep analysis. We'll enter the web URL and we're gonna start with a Windows 10 machine. Uh, we want to see that we download the actual file that's being like there and, and actually execute it as well. That's important. Let's give that a shot, shall we? So as we download the file, we can clearly see some processes starting to happen. Uh, in the process tree on the right, you can see those filling up in a little bit. There we go. And we'll get to some more information about what these things actually are and mean later. Because, yeah, these things are actually important. They are exploits, and I'll tell you why soon. So, <clears throat> having this running, let's look at some DNS requests. Nothing really interesting here, or the connections, I should say. We don't really have interesting HTTP or DNS requests at the moment, or do we? Well, we'll see in a little bit. Ooh, sorry, and I oh, nearly dropped my laptop there. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> that would have been the end of my laptop. All right, so what else do we have? We can see that exoliner.exe is actually being started. And if you go to the website, it pretends to be like a Roblox kind of thing. Uh, so be very careful with what you download, guys, because you can see sort of what that exoliner is doing here. It's overwriting something in the registry. It's adjusting a registry key, <clears throat> which is, of course, very bad <laughs> and what is the registry that's actually being adjusted here it all has to do with a very simple um basically the something that auto starts so when you're um when this application starts this this thing auto starts uh when you, i mean your your machine auto start, uh, starts this thing auto starts of course and what does this actually do it makes connections back to github and um the guy from the Discord, let me see if I can find that real quick. The guy from the Discord also said, hey, uh, this is actually what it's doing in the backend. Captain Hook is giving images. So as you can see, they called it Captain Hook, which is a very applicable name for something like this, of course. Captain Hook is giving images from the machine itself, as we can see. Later on, we'll also try that with a Windows 7 machine, but in the meantime, let's check out what else we can learn about this exploit. Maybe there's some more information that we are missing, who knows. Uh, just a quick another look at those DNS requests and connections. So, those screenshots are actually being sent back to, indeed, the webhook, <coughs> and that, that's really interesting. It's an interesting exploit, of course, because you can do so much with this. As you can see, any.run also says this application actually loads a Python module and then some other things, the exe itself, of course, with some functionality for taking a screenshot. Yara, as we said before, we showed those and the application launched itself and the executable content was dropped or overwritten. The process drops Python dynamic modules and the process drops C runtime libraries. Well, if that isn't the spyware, I don't know what is, you know. <laughs> so, really well done in a sense that this is really well put together. This is awesome. Some other things that we can find out maybe about uh, evil exoliner.exe, I should say. As you can see, you can also download the sample at the top. We don't want to do that at the moment because, well, it's an exe, so it wouldn't work anyway. But this is my host system, so we're probably not going to be downloading anything like that, shall we? So we can go through all of the different possible uh, references where Yara is used. As you can see here, we can show the report in text form and we can get a summary. The summary is really good. The process tree shows a series of executable files being run with the parent process being exoliner.exe. The executable files include Python libraries and modules as well as libraries for SSL, WMI and other functionalities. 
Process 3 also shows the execution of the Python script, which is likely responsible for the compression and decompression of files. <clears throat> that's probably, and correct me if I'm wrong of course, but that's probably for the compression of the screenshot before sending that over. So that's a nice AI summary report if we want that. Um, I don't know why I just put that in my Discord as well, so that the guys who created this, or at least who asked me to check this out, are aware um, of actually that the what any.run is saying from it. You can also show the MITRE attack matrix, as you can see right here. You can also show the elements which are not visible. There's a small toggle there, uh, but this is well, just the MITRE attack matrix. Um, there's the things in red which are in danger and then there's things in orange or in yellow which are warnings the execution command and scripting interpreter and then boot or login auto start execution twice in the privilege escalation and then persistence so that it's quite a lot it's quite a lot of things that are packed into this one little exploit here so really cool i also deleted that for reference of course so other people wouldn't go and snooping around <coughs> in it um, of course uh, because it is as you guys can see it does pretend to be some kind of roblox thing and the people who aren't as uh, adept with this kind of stuff might fall for it which we don't want of course in this case so what else can we see the techniques that are being used the registry entries which are being overwritten what is actually changed so really detailed stuff from any.run appreciate them as well they are not sponsoring this video just so you are aware but i just love using any.run from time to time thank you as well mr black hacker for uh, reminding me that this tool exists because i have adhd and out of sight is out of mind which is a disaster with me some tools i just forget that they exist in general what else do we have we can export certain things as well and then we have the text to report if we want that as well for reporting quite a lot of things that we can figure out here but this is the actual part where the exploit is so if you've been watching for that that is what this thing does it sends back screenshots to the webhook captain hook as they call it the discord bot so really cool, I like it, uh, awesome, well done. I'm going to end the video here because I don't have a whole lot of extra sting to show, but I really appreciate you watching Amazing Hackers. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my friend.